tell you that uh, when it's time for speeches, the governor had promised to talk about some history behind this cathedral. We'll leave that for him. I'm sure uh, he has a lot of things to say. But the reason why you cannot see them for now is they are still having a good feel of uh, the uh, sections, the inner rooms and sections of the brick house. Um, this uh, cathedral uh, that is about to witness a huge turnout of persons, we are sure that uh, security would have to do a lot uh, to ensure that uh, the right persons find their way to their seats. You have uh, the Bishop Iwo, who is the special advisor to the Governor of Religious Affairs, uh, trying to lead this particular uh, event. Uh, somewhere within the cameras would uh, let you see that as time progresses um, right now we understand that they are about to make their way out of the brick house the event is supposed to be brisk and um, of course uh, allow for uh, persons to express themselves but well, that particular service the which we understand may just be an hour long is is uh, supposed to allow a full worship service thanksgiving service as a way of opening the cathedral for more services as uh, such as that uh, to begin to take place now you can see that uh, the movement has begun and uh, and the seats are beginning to take a new look, a new life, as the personalities and persons, guests, begin to take their seats. Uh, this is supposed to last for a few minutes. Now you have a former deputy speaker of the Federal House of Representatives uh, right there, uh, Austin Okbara, in the picture. Um, sitting next to him is a former senator. Lee Meba. And you also have the wife of uh, the senior advocate of Nigeria, O.C. Joe Kocha, sitting right behind the man in white, um, Austin Okbara. And we've just been told that because it's a 250 sitting capacity cathedral not everyone will be allowed in there you can see that uh, security uh, officials are trying to ensure that uh, they do all the checks More persons are still trying to find their way in there. And what appears to be slowing this, the process down a bit is that uh, there is some form of security check going on right at the entrance.
Well, just like we told you in your uh, in your sc on your screen right now is uh, what appears to be a little bit of a logjam um, as uh, the check the security operatives want to ensure that uh, the right persons uh, get in there. So if you look a little bit to your left, uh, depending on where you're sitting, you'll see a group of persons that is supposed to be uh, the entrance for special guests. Then if you look ahead, you will see a, a bit of a long queue uh, that is supposed to be the entrance for all other persons, some of them that will be allowed to be part of this special service that will be holding for the first time since the building of this cathedral, the Chapel of Everlasting Grace. So what is happening uh, appears to just uh, be uh buying time so so to speak uh, but what we'll see um in moments later or soon enough will be the service that will be conducted by the uh, religious leaders that are present here today including those that will be running the uh, official affairs of this chapel uh, that will be led by bishop iwo the special advisor to the governor on religious affairs so would uh, just ask you to please bear with us as we try to also take some time uh, to just play some cards if you like while we allow the events to take a life of itself